What's up troopers? So we all know Darth Vader is one of the strongest force users of all time in the Star Wars universe. His force choke produced enough power to lift grown men off the ground by their throat. He could pull starships back to earth as they were taking off. And in Legends, he jumped incredible lengths to slay the Ender Dragon. So that got me thinking, how would Darth Vader work out if he lived here on earth? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how the Dark Lord of the Sith would get his gains. And if you want to do this workout, you can check it out down below in the description as part of my unlimited power workout program for Star Wars fans. It's all accessible within the Return of the Athlete app. All you got to do is click down below in the description. Now, if you were really following the Sith code, the first thing Darth Vader would probably do is find an image to fuel his hatred for himself. Maybe a picture of Padme, maybe a picture of his small calves. Whatever it was, the Dark Lord is known for using his hatred as fuel and nothing moves iron like fear and hate. And now that Vader's all worked up with anger and hatred, let's head on down to the Mando cave and see how Vader would channel his rage. To start off, Vader would take that hatred and do some violent power slams with a slam ball. As a master duelist, Vader preferred to overwhelm his opponents with overpowering heavy attacks, so I wouldn't see a reason for him to change his strategy in training. Once he was warm, he would start off with some trap bar deadlifts, also known as trap bar, all I'm surrounded by is dead men lifts with contrasting jump squats. And there's a few reasons for this. One, the deadlift is a great way to develop grip strength, which Vader uses on people like the clumsy Admiral Ozzel, the apologetic Captain Nita, and the aspiring director Krennic. Heck, he even used it on his late wife Padme Amidala. Next is the contrasting jump squats, which can be used as a combination to improve force production and rate of force development. Get it? He's developing the force, but instead of midichlorians, I'm talking about mass times acceleration. All right, sorry, I'll stop. After five sets of four, it's time for pull-ups. Vader constantly has dreams about his duel with Obi-Wan on Mustafar, and he resents his former master for not pulling him up away from the fire that scorched his body. Had he practiced more pull-ups in the Jedi Temple, he may have been able to pull himself up from the lava. In honor of Vader's fist, the 501st Legion, he does a five second negative with a one second concentric for three sets of five. After that, he would move on to three sets of Sith Lord lunges. As the apprentice to Darth Sidious, he constantly finds himself kneeling to his master. And in order to kneel, Vader has to perform a crisp reverse lunge without any wobble, lest the emperor perceive it as a weakness. Three sets of six each leg usually does the trick for him. From there, it's right into his favorite superset of push and pull. Vader loves using force push to send his enemies flying into the wall. This creates space for him to cut down his opponents one by one instead of being overwhelmed. Though not used as often, the Dark Lord knows the importance of being able to pull an escaping enemy ship toward you as he did in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Three sets of 10 to 12 each exercise is all he needs on this superset. Now, you might be wondering if Vader's gonna hit any single joint movements, bicep curls, tricep extensions, calf raises, and the answer is no. He prefers not to do curls or extensions for his legs and arms as it reminds him of the limbs he once had. Instead, he finishes with one final exercise, high ground stairs. The true source of his wheezing comes from his lack of cardiovascular health. The sound of his respirator after his battle with Luke was actually due to him reaching his VO2 max in the throne room duel. With each step of stairs, Darth Vader envisions a time when he can take the high ground back from his former master. But after 10 minutes of this, he would be completely gassed due to the weight of his cybernetic being. As he wheezes and gasps for air, he would think of easier times when he was rolling in the fields on Naboo with his love Padme only for Darth Vader to block out Anakin from resurfacing as he pounded down a Way the Force Be With You protein shake on his way to recover in the back to tank. So to wrap it all up, here's what we're looking at. You're gonna start out with some slam balls, three by 10. Then you're gonna go into trap bar deadlifts and follow those immediately with jump squats, five by four there. Then you're gonna go into pull-ups, three sets of five with each rep being a five second negative. Then you're gonna go into reverse lunges, three by six, do six each side, do one side, then the other. Then you're gonna do an incline press with a supersetted cable row, three by 10 to 12, and then wrap it up with 10 minutes of high ground stairs. 
Don't forget to rest. Make sure and aim for at least two minutes between each set so that you are properly recovered going into each exercise. If you want this all laid out for you, you can go down to the description and check out my Return of the Athlete app and get access to the Unlimited Power program down below in the description. If you got any questions, drop them down below in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button to catch future videos. This is CT3939 signing out. I'll catch you on the next Trooper Transmission.